left in 13 minutes. This is the end of the men's practice session. You can watch in 13 minutes on Peacock Premium, which is free if you have Comcast. And you can watch on NBC Sportsnet Live at 3 o'clock in 18 minutes, from 3 to 5, and also from 7 to 9. Hello from St. John. I'm eating fried macaroni from the Cheesecake Factory. All right, I'll leave this on in case anyone for a minute in case anyone has any questions. Let me see if the other feed is already on. I don't know what kind of sauce comes with this fried macaroni. It looks like chipotle sauce. I need to take my lactase enzyme or I'm going to get sick from the dairy. This appetizer exp is expensive, but I wanted to try it. And I got the Godiva cheesecake for free. I'm going to change the feed. It says coverage to begin shortly. Stay tuned. We can listen to CNN for a minute. Other members of the Senate. I think Biden is going to talk to today. To counting the vote. His purpose in inciting this mob attack and an act of domestic terrorism was very simply to overthrow a legitimate election result, a coup attempt, in effect, using this crowd of uh, really armed and dangerous mob and that i think is the evidence out of his own mouth one republican source has told us there's no love lost among senate republicans right now for president trump uh, but it's a real question about whether they actually go ahead and vote to convict him once he's already out of office and he will be out of office in six days how many republicans do you expect that will actually vote yay in favor of conviction uh, this if anyone's commenting and I can't see the Facebook comments, I should be able to. I'll look at them later. What he did. And we went through this experience. It's personal with us and with my Republican colleagues. Some of them voted to acquit in the last impeachment trial because they thought he had, in quotes, learned his lesson. Obviously, he didn't. So I am very hopeful that we'll have enough votes. But one way or the other, they will have to answer to history because they have voted to acquit once. If they do it twice, they will be judged harshly, not only by history, but I think by American voters. The principle of accountability is so profoundly important here. Even if we Let me make sure there's no ice depth. For convicting a public official, even if yeah, there's been uh, impeachment and convictions of uh, federal officials uh, in the past, but not a president who's actually left. This would be the first time for a, a president, or and in this particular case, it would be a former president who would be removed, uh, already removed, but convicted, and potentially barred from ever holding any uh, federal office. Again, Senator Blumenthal, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Will. Coming up, a third coronavirus vaccine on the horizon right now as the CDC is issuing a grim new death toll projection. Plus, I don't see one. The FBI identifies hundreds more suspects in the U.S. capital C. We have new details 
new details, including of new arrests, when we come back. Let me check Facebook and see if Peter posted anything. Somebody that I commented on their post. What? Do I really want to see what they said in response to my comment? All right, why don't we watch the warm up instead of reading that to you? Welcome into the six minute warm up here at the 2021 Toyota US Figure Skating Championships. I'm your host, Haley Maxwell. We're so excited to be back here at the Orleans Arena. And of course, even more excited to bring in our guest host today, the one and only Peggy Fleming Jenkins. How are you? Well, I'm doing fine, just staying home and staying safe and looking forward to the championships coming up and I'll be sitting here in the living room and maybe curled up with some popcorn. <laughs> popcorn sounds honestly great right now. Peggy, it's been such a weird year starting with, you know, your virtual competition that was incredibly put on back in July. And now fast forward to this event here at the U.S. Championships. Can you ever imagine competing in a bubble? Uh, no, not really. But um, in, in this day and age with you know, COVID going on and um, these athletes um, need to keep their skills up and having um, a venue for them to compete and um you know just uh have something to look forward to so um these are incredible athletes that are going through incredible times of course the one athlete who really took advantage of a bubble experience back in october of Jade america was audrey shin at her first senior grand prix debut let's learn a little bit more about her hi my name is audrey shin and just a little bit about me this video is on Facebook. Look under U.S. Figure Skating. My free skate is from a movie soundtrack, and it has a really deep story to it. So. I really want to like try and connect to the music and really make the audience fall in love with my skating. Yeah, I really like my free skate. I can't pick one, so blue and purple. <laughs> 
My favorite artists are um, BTS and Blackpink, but I also really like Ariana Grande. <laughs> I really like Boba. <laughs> Bubble tea, that's my favorite drink. <laughs> the last text message I sent um, was probably to my mom. <laughs> that Hi! Was to this interview. <laughs> Audrey, it was so, so much fun to talk to you earlier. And it's time to switch gears a little bit. You can watch this on US Figure Skating. Peggy's Pieces. This is a brand new segment, Peggy, all focused on your skating knowledge. So, this we're going to show you some only. actors, actresses, and athletes red carpet outfits, and from those, you have to choose the music they would skate to. <laughs> this one is a classic. <laughs> what do you have for Lady Gaga in her new dress? Well, I think she should skate to one of the Elvis songs, Lovely Tender. <laughs> Sort of a meat thing. Yeah. <laughs> that is incredible. We'll have to actually get someone to tell Lady Gaga this is the move. Let's see who's next. Ooh, Adam Rapon, white cape on the SB's red carpet. She looks like a matador. Um, she should speak to some kind of Spanish music and having that attitude with the bull coming at him and he definitely has attitude. He could pull this off. Definitely. I could see him swinging his cape while on the ice. That would be really fun. Oh, Katy Perry in a lamp outfit. <laughs> you well, can this is an extraordinary costume. On Peacock uh, Network. Or NBC but Sports this is something Net. that I think skaters should really pay attention to. Having a costume that overpowers you really um, doesn't help your scene. So, be a little more subtle in your costume uh, so we can see you. Love it. Great tip. Who do we have next? Oh, a denim favorite, Justin Timberlake and Britney Spears. Well, um, I think when they're in the denim, I think maybe they could skate to the theme of the Beverly Hillbillies or maybe um, Rhinestone Cowboy, something like that. I think Rhinestone Cowboy would be perfect. Peggy, that was so much fun. We're going to have to get everyone's agents on the phone and make sure they're aware that these outfits are their figure skating costumes as well. I'd be happy to help them, really. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, you're not here with us in person, but definitely in spirit. And of course, cut out more. We were able to snap this photo before competition. It's a pretty good seat. I have a great seat sitting next to my friend Jen, and um, you know we'll enjoy the championship um, either place. <coughs> Definitely, I want to thank you so much for joining us here for our six-minute warm-up. Fans, don't forget to check out the virtual fan experience on our U.S. Figure Skating Fan Zone. And with that ticker coming down to zero mark, I think it's time for day one of competition here at the 2021 U.S. Figure Skating Championship, presented by Toyota. Did I ask for silverware? Yes. Did I get any? No. Watching the Peacock Network. Premium. It's it's free if you have Xfinity, and it's on NBC Sportsnet in three minutes. Oh. 
number two, They're not showing judges. From Dallas, Texas. They're showing the ice. Judge number four from Morristown, New Jersey, Warren Parker. From Phoenix, Arizona, Judge number five, Al Warren. From Kansas City, Kansas, Judge number six, Anna Katz. And Judge number seven from Dublin, California, Lisa Earl. And now, please welcome our technical panel, the technical controller, Mark Wallace, also Wisconsin, Dale Tanner. The technical specialist, Jeffrey DiGregorio, Mark Wilkinson, Dallas. From Stone, Massachusetts, the assistant technical specialist, Wendy Anderson. The data entry operator for Harlan's Heights, Illinois. And the video replay operator is Allison Dumont from Cumberland, Vermont. Bye, guys.